Hello guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Yawa Simpi Sechera and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Now welcome, welcome, welcome to, you know, the continuation. We are continuing, you know, our studies and our learning and our training in MIS trading. Okay, this is the MIS trading masterclass and this is the continuation of episode 2. Okay, and the episode 2, we seek to understand, you know, the advantages and disadvantages disadvantages of where you choose to buy your stocks from if you want to be a maze trade a maze trader where you want to go and buy your stocks from disadvantages and disadvantages that one has been covered in the first part of episode two now this is the second part of episode two which is where you want to sell your maze where you want to sell your products the advantages and disadvantages and the requirements that you need to sell in this in those places all right now so the question for today is that um where did i mention that you can buy your stocks from i i mentioned three yeah three places that you can buy your stocks from you know three options all right so i'll i'll pick up you know the winner in, um, in the comment section now we are talking about where you can sell your maze. All right. Now, the first place that I mentioned is the market women. Is the market women. Okay. Now, this the, the market women, trying to trade with the market women, the, the advantage is that you don't need a lot of capital. The advantage of deciding to, to, to sell your products to the market women is that you don't need a lot of capital because they actually don't buy a lot of maize. Let's say Kinky Sellers Market Women, you know, tabletop. You understand? When I say market women, you know what I mean. They deal in 10 bucks, 20 bucks, you know, five, some even buy five bucks. Okay, so you don't need the capital intensity, it's not that high. You don't need a lot of money to, you know, venture into. The, you know uh, trading with them and the advantage uh, that's the advantage and the disadvantage will be that well well you know market women okay today you want to sell to them <laughs> tomorrow if you're not strict you won't do because it's very likely that they are not going to pay you cash okay and when you're coming for your money most of the times that is when the problem is and then go came uh, you know and all those things all those you know issues in the market sometimes it it it's um, it it it's worrisome if you decide to trade with market you know you know how most of them are not all of them though okay so that's the disadvantage now the second option that i gave up in terms of where you can sell your products to is Poultry farmers. Okay, poultry farmers. Now, this is like the next threshold, if so to speak. The next threshold in terms of um, quantity requirements. I, I mean, market entry, if you want to enter into the maize trading market, you know, the quantity, the, the next level of capital threshold. Okay. Because the with the farming with the um, poultry farmers, depending on the size of the poultry farm, also you may not have to you know gather the um, a, a capital that can buy thousand bucks at a go or five hundred bucks at a go. You know if it is a farm that raises let's say five hundred beds, you know you can you can be supplying them with maybe a thousand no 200 bucks maybe every week or every two weeks you know 100 bucks 200 bucks every two weeks you know that can happen with with the poultry farmers so that's that's the advantage okay and the advantage is also that if you want to supply with to the poultry farmers you know they they they, they buy a quantity higher than you know the market women okay and then the disadvantage 
what will be the disadvantage you know of trading with or selling your products to the poultry farmers um let me say most of the poultry farmers are also informal most poultry farmers are informal okay um what i mean by informal is that their companies are not registered most poultry farmers are not registered they are big big poultry farmers don't get me wrong they are well established poultry farmers but um some are in, um, not registered and are a little informal informal they are one man businesses you know let me say that we one man businesses so in case the person is not there it's likely your 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 uh, you know whatever transaction that is ongoing between you and the person will have issues i have I, I have you know heard a lot of stories you know like this okay where somebody traded somebody supplied maize to a poultry farmer and then in the demise of the poultry farmer the monies that the person the supplier was supposed to receive from the poultry farmer now it is becoming a challenge getting those monies okay so that is it for one man business poultry farmers most of them that's how it is now the next the next one that i that i talked about is animal feed production companies now these production companies they buy a lot of maize you know they use let me say they use a lot of maize because they that is what they use for their work for their manufacturing for their production that is maize it's maize is 60 percent of their whole you know the, the all, all 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 the components that they will buy to produce the animal feed 60 percent of it is maize so they buy relatively if you compare it to the market women and poultry farmers animal feed production companies also buy a lot and they are relatively formal okay a lot of these companies that we have dealt with they are you know they are um they are formal if you if you deal with them if you're able to deal with them um you are not you are likely not to have issues with you know the issues that i mentioned earlier you know that are related to market women and one man poultry farmers okay now the disadvantage is that these people these companies animal feed production companies they buy a lot which means that you need high you know um you need high you know budgets or high capital you know to be able to meet them to go into contract with them okay so the capital threshold for these people is very very high it's very very high so it is um um it is what it is okay now the fourth one that i mentioned is um alcoholic beverages companies production companies like beer production companies most beer production companies use maize and what happens is that um, they also buy a lot okay so the the advantages and disadvantages that are related to um animal feed production companies is more or less the same as um beer production companies that use maize for their beer pr production all right so it um that is it for part two of episode two or the second part of episode two in this maze master class maze trading master class with me your host yao asin pisetre and this is asco tv as always keep us keep us um keep us on post notification subscribe to the channel leave your comments and as much as possible you you find time you know to interact with you okay and let's make this agribusiness thing very very sustainable and a very very good you know source of income for us our families you know and yeah that's it for 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 today and 
Subsequently, there are other a lot of amazing topics that I'll be coming that I'll be bringing your way in terms of maze trading. This masterclass will go a long way. Will go a long way. So if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. A lot of information coming your way in terms of agribusiness in Ghana. All right. Until we meet in the next one, my name is Yao Asimpi Sechere and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Asira House Commodities. Bye-bye for now.